morning everyone. Zach Hutton from Clark's Landing Yacht Sales back for another walkthrough video. It's been a minute guys. I haven't done a walkthrough in a while. I'm a little rusty. Bear with me. But today we have the long, long anticipated release of the new Solara line. Now I've been talking about Solara. I've been talking to customers and they say, well, what is Solara? I've never heard of Solara. Great question. Solara is the premium line launched by Fluid Motion which is the parent company of both Cutwater Boats and Ranger Tugs. So we have the premium line of Cutwaters, effectively think about it like that. As we go through this boat, you'll notice a lot of similarities between the 310 Solara center walk around and the Cutwater 24 center walk around. Those are intentional, but I'll point out lots of the premium features as well. So let's go through this together. Let's see what we got here. This is the 310 center walk around by Solara. So in keeping with the cutwater design, we have the same big aggressive double steps on the hull. What that does, as you run the boat forward, air gets forced through here, under the boat, and back toward the stern. That jumps the boat up on plane really quickly, and as you run the boat forward, you're actually running on a mix of air and water which decreases drag, increases fuel efficiency, but more importantly, increases performance of the outboards. As we continue forward, nice deep V. They did take the Solara hull from the cutwater roots. As we all know, the performance of the cutwater is excellent in choppy conditions and windy conditions and snotty water. So the Solara is gonna be no different. First premium feature we get to talk about, bow camera. Now, just to the port and starboard of the bow camera, we have docking lights on the Solara 310. That's another premium feature that I mentioned that Cutwater didn't offer, but Solara does. So those are the highlight points of the exterior hull. Let's get on the boat. Let's see what we can see from the inside. So here we are on the swim platform of the Solara 310 center walk around. First thing you'll notice, as promised, twin engine. Many, 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 many requests and complaints about single engines. Now we have a twin option for you. Along with the twin motors, we have a walk-through swim platform. We have an extended swim platform on each side with horizontal bumpers built in. We have your trim tabs, your underwater lights built into the trim tabs themselves. We have grab rails on both sides of the swim platform. We have a swim ladder and of course, soft decking that you see both on the swim platform and on the interior of the boat. While we're back here by the outboards, one premium feature of the Solara that I really want to point out is the new steering. Now, most of you will remember the Cutwater line features hydraulic steering, pretty standard hydraulic steering. This, on the other hand, is your electronic steering. Now, as we come aboard, you'll notice transom shower. That's hot and cold water. We have the ski pylon, which you'll recognize from the cutwater line. To the starboard side, we have a nice big live well. I believe it's 30 gallons. What I would use is fish boxes up top and stainless steel freshwater sink all the way on the port side. Nice big overbuilt transom and a real nice elegant use of space by Solara. Now folks, as we step on, take a look at the upgraded upholstery. We have two fold down seats, one on the port side, one on the transom. We have a two person seat right here on the cooler and a single rear facing seat. Now folks, if you have somebody being pulled on a tube or a wakeboard or something like that, this is a perfect spotting chair to keep eyes on the person who's outside of the boat. You could also keep eyes on your fishing poles and things like that from these seats right here, or everybody can just be part of the conversation. Now, as far as deck storage back here in the cockpit, on the port side, we have a real deal fish box. Now, that fish box is macerated. The discharge is controlled by a button over at the helm. So you can load this up with ice before you leave the dock, put your catch of the day in there. On the starboard side, however, 
not a fish box, but plenty of storage. But real importantly, you see a six battery bank here. Now these are lithium ion batteries. So this is the famed lithium ion battery pack that was a, an option on the Cutwater line, but is now a standard on the Solara line. What this does, this allows you to run your air conditioning when you're away from shore power. So this takes the place of a generator. So a generator is not an option nor a standard on the Solara line. It's been replaced by the lithium ion battery pack. Now, even the most experienced captain may have trouble docking in windy conditions, in tight conditions, or on a new boat that's unfamiliar to you. So Solara put a few premium features here in the cockpit as well. We have spreader lights on the port and starboard side, and right here in the middle, we have a rear-facing camera that gets displayed right on the garment at the helm. As for the helm itself, we have a twin Garmin setup on this one. We have the twin 12-inch screens with your engine readout data right in the middle. We have toggle switches. Steering wheel. Throttle control. Bow thruster. Trim tab control, which brings us to another premium feature, the Solara 310. These are automatic trim tabs. You can set these babies to just trim the boat out automatically. You do have a manual setting, or you can just use the automatic setting. That's an upgraded feature of the premium Solara line. Now, another big time premium feature on the Solara line, autopilot. Not an option, actually a standard. Most of these fe premium features that I'm mentioning are standards, but autopilot is another standard premium feature of the Solara 310. This boat has autopilot, automatic trim tabs, bow thruster, and at the buyer's request, we can build a boat out that has a joystick placed right here. After that, we have your pretty standard CV radio, call for Coast Guard help. And from there, we'd be making our way over to the co-captain's chairs. Now take a look at how much space, how much leg room, how much deck room you have between the port side helm and the co-captain's chairs. Now folks, one of the requests I've gotten many times about the Cutwater center walk around and dual console lines is the seats. They said the seats should be beefier, should be more sturdy. Well, they listen to you on the Solara lines and these premium seats are sturdy. When you guys get on one of these, whether it be at a boat show or here at Clark's Landing, you're really gonna dig the seats. I put everybody in the seats and everybody goes, oh, these are nice. And with that, let's make our way over to the bow. One thing I always like to point out, look at how big and high these seawalls are. Now, I'm about 5'11". They come up beyond hip height on me. This is one of the features of the Cutwater 24 center walk around that people really like was the big high seawalls. They're even bigger and higher on the Solara line. Uh, safety, number one concern, making sure when you're going from cockpit to bow, little kids elderly folk they're they're nice and safe in the boat so the solara 310 just like the cutwater 24 center walk around you really get the feeling like you're in the boat not on the boat you know when you get on you'll you'll see exactly what i mean now the first thing you're going to notice about the layout of the bow on the solara 310 is the fact that it takes its aesthetic right from the cutwater 24 center walk around only it's obviously bigger and much more plush upholstery, much more plush cushioning, I should say. Just an all around bigger, better layout than the Cutwater 24 center walk around because it's a bigger, more premium boat. So we have two person seating on both, both the bow and the port side and really cool molded in forward facing individual seats just below the windshield. Now, one feature of the bow that Solara did bring over from the Cutwater line is the fact that the whole bow turns into one big sun pad. The bow table recesses down into these nice little grooves right here. Another support beam comes out. A pad goes on top. The whole bow becomes one big sun pad. Now, a couple more premium features that I want to point out while we're here on the bow. The first is an LED light bar. I've gotten asked many times on the Cutwater series, why isn't there a forward-facing light bar? Bam, they listen to you, here it is. 
all LED. You're never going to have to change a bulb. Super bright. You'll always be able to see where you're docking in dark conditions. We also, speaking of light, have LED lights wrapped around the inside of the hardtop. The whole boat will light up pale blue. Looks beautiful at night. This boat comes standard with a four-sided Isinglass enclosure. Real useful for cold conditions, for rainy conditions. You're not always going to be using the boat on a beautiful August day like today. That four-sided Isinglass enclosure increased the number of boating days for you for the year. But after hours out in the sun, everybody wants to get down, get out of the elements, soak up some air conditioning. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the cabin. So as you can see, we have an extended cabin down below. It's convertible from a seating area to a sleeping area. But as we have it set up right now, comfortably seats four adults, or when converted to a sleeping area, we'll comfortably sleep two. We have surround sound speakers. We have an entertainment package. We have rod storage right behind me, real important for you fishing guys. Snap-in woven grass carpeting as well as a refrigerator. We have a freshwater sink, 110 power. Remember, we do have air conditioning and reverse cycle heat down here. And with the lithium ion battery pack that I talked about a minute ago, you can rock your air conditioning when you're away from shore power. You have little kids on board, letting them come down, soak up some air conditioning, take a nap down here, can really extend your boating day. We have a real porcelain head with a pump out black water tank. We also have a second freshwater sink. Now that sink extends out into a shower. So the Solara 310 center walk around is designed for multiple days out on the water. Beautiful weekender, if you will. Now, before we make our way back out, let me draw your attention to the power panel right over here. We have the freshwater meter. We have your environmental control and we have your circuit breaker panel right here. Let's make our way back up top. So folks, that's the Solara 310 center walk around brand new model and brand new line from the parent company fluid motion this is the center walk around it's 30 feet 10 inches length overall with a 10 foot beam it holds 200 gallons of fuel 41 gallons of fresh water with a 25 gallon waste tank the draft on this boat is about 25 inches so a little more than two feet the 310 has twin Yamaha outboard motors. Those are 250 horsepower each. This boat is a personal favorite of mine. You know from all the YouTube videos, I've done lots of walkthroughs on the different cutwater models. You're going to love the Solara. This is the 310 center walk around, but we have the 25 center walk around, the 25 dual console, and the 25 coupe incoming right now as we speak. See the full Solara lineup on our website at clarkslanding.com. So for Clark's Landing Yacht Sales in Point Pleasant, New Jersey, I'm Zach Hutton. Come see me. I'll take you for a live tour of this beautiful boat. You have a great day, guys.